What's up, guys? Welcome back to another stream. We're here in the world of Ferris Block, a Sky Block mod pack for Minecraft 1.15. Uh, and I've got some news, actually, some things that I want to tell you guys to start out the stream. Number one, you know how at the beginning of the pack I couldn't get any of these delicious, beautiful iron trees over here? Well, the mod pack author apparently saw that some people were having difficulties with that and has added a quest in the latest versions of the pack uh, into the quest book, which I think is somewhere over here. Yeah, six. Um, where you can get an iron tree, even if you're playing on this, uh, this here mod pack, the Garden of Glass version, which is what I'm playing on. So... Now, if you choose to start this world of your own inside the same mod pack as me, same version as me, you too will be able to get iron trees without having to just cheat them in, which is what I did. Uh, so in between, uh, I sat here probably with just fertilizer, all kinds of stuff, right? I just kept on slapping it into here Thinking, you know, eventually I'm gonna get this the fluffy puff seed, which is what I was trying to get for the start of the farming here. <clears throat> Not realizing, of course, that uh, we have a utility that lets you look up everything, and fluffy puff seeds just have they have a recipe. You can just get them just like that. Yeah. Quest completed. Farm question mark. And we'll get two waystones for that, which is neat in a skyblock pack to get waystones, because um, that seems indicative of the fact that you would ever want to travel, which I'm not entirely sure I would. But um, <clears throat> I did eventually get some uh, pat or mobs to spawn over here. Um, I'm getting a lot of friggin' bats spawning, but I mean, like, I also got some skeletons and some zombies and stuff. Um, no Endermen, unfortunately, but I am getting stuff in there, so it does work. So that's not something that got turned off, actually. Although I've got to make a better version of it. I've got to make something that just goes up into the sky and whatnot, so that way I can have a whole bunch of stuff dropping in automatically, because I need something that's going to be completely enclosed in darkness, so that way we can have better spawn rates, because right now the spawn rates are very bad. There is barely anything spawning. Um, I have cut down several of these here trees. Um, I've just been kind of mining them out. Uh, obviously, I upgraded to iron tools because why wouldn't I? <clears throat> and I also made an iron chest for the uh, hopper botany pot to get uh, all this done on. And, uh, you know, this is okay food, right? Um, these little uh, sweet berries, they're... They're, you know, good starts, but it's not something that you'd want to stick with, obviously. Um, so, I have uh, devised a plan. I've looked around a little bit, and I found out something really good that we can do with these. It's going to be a great source of food. Absolutely fantastic. It's going to 100% solve any kind of a hunger crisis you could have in this pack. If you do just this thing, um, we are going to make... Uh, that little farm that they give you to start the game into a more stable and permanent food source using just those and one other material that you can get at the very beginning of the game. How are we going to do that? I hear you asking. We are going to look at the strainer system, which is actually one of the quests in the starting tree line. That's the next one for us, in fact. we got to figure out how to make this and get it put down someplace. And the reason that we've got to do that is because the strainer allows us to get, let me see if I can figure out which one do I have to click on to actually see the recipes that it can give us. Cause I know that there is, there we go. So straining, you can get coarse dirt uh, with the survival of strainer, gravel and sand. Now sand is what interests me immediately because sand enables us to make glass and do you know what you can do with sweet berries and glass in this pack well i will show you 
So with sweet berries and glass, you can make sweet berry juice, which is a very easy recipe. Not that. Go back here. Then go to the last page. Very easy recipe. Just a sweet berry and glass. You can see it gives three full shanks and also several, uh, it looks like four and a half saturation. And this is what it takes to make glass. These, these glass glasses. Which sounds weird to say, but yeah. It's just three glass panes, and that gets you three of them. So that's super easy. And since we've already got the berry part of it automated, you know, we just have to wait on berries to come in for us to be able to make the actual glass things. And each berry makes us one of these. So we really don't need that much glass either, since one... Six pieces of glass will break down into 16 glass frames. Um, glass frames, we only need three of them. So, I mean, like, realistically... Um, and I'm not even going to attempt the math on uh, on camera without a calculator. Uh, just so you know, I'm stalling for time and bullshitting a little bit. Um, yeah, it makes a lot and very easy and with no effort. <laughs> so we'll have we'll have plenty once we get that rolling. So let us figure this out. So the first step, according to the quest, is we need to make a strainer base, four of them. We need to make two survivalist strainers, two solid survivalist strainers one wood fish trap and one fish bait and that gets us a drawer controller which will also help out with all the stuff that we will need to store uh coming out of this if there is a way for us to automate this at all and i'm just going to keep on chopping down these iron trees because we need the iron still we still don't have enough iron if you can believe it so let's go back to looking at the water strainer mod strainer bases Generates items while in water, requires a strainer and water on top. Water strainer base, EMC 520. We also need to see if they change the stuff for the EMC so that way we can just make a project D thing and store everything in there. Anyways, four planks, one hopper, two iron bars, and a chest gets us one. And we need to do four of them. Oh, also, ha, I made this handheld crafting table, which is just a crafting table on a stick. And it's just a crafting table on a stick. Yeah. So we'll need at least, right, four of those. Because that's how many planks it takes on each side. Okay, so that's planks. Boom, planks done. Okay, now we need chests. Let's do this. And that gets us four chests. Uh, for the quest, boom, chest done. Except, psych, we need to make hoppers. So, their chest done. And hop. And then four hoppers. Boom, hoppers done. Now we're done with chests. So then we need iron bars, which are dead easy to make, just like that. And then, boop. And we got four bases. Nice. So then we need two of these and then two of these. So that's an iron mesh, and this is a string mesh. And iron mesh is, yeah, okay, okay. Do 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 do. I'm suddenly seeing why he had us make two of each thing, because very conveniently the recipes are two of each thing. How did I get string earlier? Because I know I've made string already. Ah, yes, the grass fibers. Yes. Do I have any of those left? Because I I would have thought that I made more of them. I did, yes. Very fine. Let's do this. That gets us, there we go. And then crafting table on a stick. Here we go. Boop. And we've got two of those now. So then how do we turn them into the actual meshes? It's sticks and then iron. Cool. Ha. Huh. Now we have the solid survivalist mesh, and then let's do the sticks. Ha! Yes. And then what else was required for the quest? We need a wood fish trap and one fish bait. So wood fish trap is not here. Neither is the fish bait. So let's look. Ah, golden berry is better food. Well, let's look that up. Golden 
Orchid. I would assume that they have the same... Ah, uh, there we go. Golden Berry. Fulfilling Mill 3 and several of those. I don't have gold yet, though. Like, I haven't gotten that deep into the pack yet. But yeah, I can see what you mean. They are farmable with the Botany Pot, so that will actually be better. Because that is even... I mean, like, obviously that fills even more than the food source that I was looking at. So, hey, pro tip... Pro tip, look up these golden berries once you get deep enough to have gold. And that will be an excellent food source. We'll work towards that, for sure. But okay, back to the woodfish trap. That is my next thing. I need the progress. Woodfish trap, a fishing rod, string, string, string. So I'm gonna need more grass, because I don't have enough grass bits. I'm, I only have three left. So let us grab out some fertilizer. And did I put up my shears or do I not have a set anymore? Or are they... Shears, there they are. I was like, I really think I have them. There we go. Perf. I love how they flip out whenever they're doing stuff. Huh. It's like, how many rotations can I do before I hit the ground? So I gave us a few more. Still not quite... I don't think that's enough, because we need... Well, maybe. Crafting table on a stick! And also sticks. So that's the fishing rod, and then I just need more sticks, actually. Good, good, good. Boop. Okay, so that's that. And then we need a fish bait. Which is any fish and three iron nuggets. We happen to have a fish. Very fine. How many iron nuggets? Three. Boom, fish bait. Quest complete? Quest complete. Aw, yeah. And that gets us a drawer controller. Which will be fantastic for when we start setting that up. Gonna throw that in there. I feel like my inventory is getting very cramped. So I start freaking out anywhere close to being full, basically. Okay, so the water, the strainers. Generate items while in water requires a, strain, a strainer and water on top. And then I wonder if the items come out of the top or the bottom. Like, could I automate this? Is that a thing I can do? Let us build, let us build up. And then let me, I'm gonna double check something just real quick. Uh-huh. Sorry, this is taking just a minute here. All right, cool. Very well. Very well. <laughs> if I can keep my fingers on the right button here. Okay, so dead center right there. Yeah. 
We're gonna move up for this one just a little bit because if we're gonna have to start messing with Stuff being submerged in water. It can't quite be on a zero, right? Especially if I have to automate maybe from underneath it So we'll go up Go up one more block I think There we go And then that's one two Oop <laughs> We try to land stick the landing in water. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. And we lost no life. Every skyblock pack that includes the mod where you fall and land back at the top of your base is a genius. That's a a thousand IQ play right there. Just making it to where people don't die regularly doing stuff like that. <sighs> it also makes it really fun for me because I know that I can't die. Unless I'm very, very silly. Alright, so let's do... That'd be 11 if I did it the same way. So we'll go out... We'll do... 13... I think that's what I want. So then one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? One, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Cool. I want. I want to get some of the things that build in lines. Is that it? I think that's it. Ooh, did I eyeball it correctly? Place your bets. Hey, Ollie or Ali? I'm not sure which, but thank you for coming out. I really appreciate you putting this pack together. It is, I'm having a blast playing it already. And I've barely begun. You go enjoy your bed. That was Pat Creator, by the way. Like, showed up just to throw some some info at me. Bless them. Okay, so then I need I need to make some infinite water pools all funneling around, which is why I wanted it to be a little bit bigger like this. And I want to make it. I still don't want to use cobblestone. It's ever going to be my problem. Let's, uh, you know, what do these iron logs look like? What do they look like as plankage? I mean, that ain't bad. It looks kind of like, uh, maybe like faded wood, like wood that's been extremely sunburnt. And then the stripped. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's basically like a pale oak. I mean, like, that is basically the same... I mean, that is the same texture, I think. Except maybe the lines in between the planks are a little bit... They're a little bit different, but not by much. I think this is... We're going to do this. Yep, yeah, let's make us some, some water beds here. So we'll make a big cross out of the stripped planks, I think, and then make some individual beds from there. Yes. I think this will be the center. Ooh, I got it. First shot. And I got plenty of ironwood logs, so I am not worried about this. 
There we go. Then let's see. I want to do like, no. No, this isn't gonna work. Let's arc from underneath. Oh, Mr. Pig, hello. Very nice to see you. Very nice. Quietly, we'll follow that under supplies for later. So I need... If I need the ability to move underneath this without actually having to go underneath it, mostly because I just don't want to pillar out from there. God, it would be the easiest thing to do, though. I did make an infinite water source over here, so it's not like water is very hard to come by. So I'll just do that. I'll just do the exact same thing over here that I did up top. Except I'll use it very, very quickly and for very little. <laughs> very little, okay. So hook, and then hook, and then right back up. And then we'll put that there. Grab the water back out. Place in the log in the direction orientation that I want it to be. And then just let those go. Okay, cool. And now we're going to strip it. Why is that one different? They're all stripped iron logs, but that is like a totally different color. Is that light affecting it? Is that why? Like these blocks are lit up, so that's why it looks different. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I wondered if we hit like a weird biome change or something like that. And we could actually strip out the internal one so that way it would mesh, but I actually think it looks better like that. Where it has that hard gray line. So it's kind of like a delineation between where the, uh, the wood color is and where the log is. Mm, quick coffee break. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like the gray the gray border on the outside of it better. So then we've got internal spaces of five, which gives us the ability to go down, which is what I wanted, and also up, which I also am thinking I might need. It really depends on how these things work. So you know what? Before we start building, I mean, they're definitely going over here. This is happening. This is happening. So I don't need to think that I've wasted that time there because I definitely haven't. But I should actually see how they work before I'm trying to figure out like on the fly, you know? Let's not put them in place until we know how they work because I might need to go either up or down with their actual placement. So let us, um, yeah, we'll just go up, up to that middle platform. Hey, can, do you think we can stick it again? Nope, <laughs> didn't stick it this time. Mm. <sighs> well, luckily we've got these cooked apples, which by the way, huh? That's a nice food source too. If you could just make like a lot of apples very easily, then this would be an absolutely fantastic food source. But other than just having, you know, an oak farm, it's uh, yeah, not easy. So this platform, we can just kind of enclose this off and let it be, because I don't really care what happens up here. So let's do like um, like a one of these kind of thing. And then figure out exactly what it is we need to do here. And I have no slabs. That's okay, we got water. Okay. So this says, generates items while in water, requires a strainer and water on top. So that makes me think that both it and the block or the strainer area has to be in water. So let's grab out a few more plankage. Huh, huh. Oh, no, not you. Not you. You, you. And then you. And then we'll put the strainer base there. And we'll put...
the strainer there. Zero percent. Do I have to do, do I do this? Does this make, no, that's bait pot slot. That's bait slot. So how do I, do I, how do I water log? I know if I hit shift and do it, it's just gonna put, it's not gonna work. So let's, um, can we break? Oh no. We're trapped. Uh, okay, we're not trapped. Not anymore. So I think we might have to, I don't need to do it up here. I'm just like, I know that I'm gonna struggle with like water and stuff, so I'm changing my mind just on the fly. I hope you don't mind. We're very free form here. We just kind of let it let it go and see where it lands. All right, and fall out, and fall back in. Fall out, fall back in. Thank you. Hey! Hey, Mr. Sheep. Give me your wool. Among other things. I think I also got some mutton, some sinew. No, you don't go in there. Where's the mutton? Or is that all I got? Okay. Oh no, gray wool right there. Perfect. We're gonna do it here. Cause I think I need a big space is what it comes down to. I need much water. Mucho water. Watero. So then I need to go down a layer and then we'll figure out where it's actually processing from. So for the floor, I actually think, I think smooth stone, honestly. So let's come over here. We've got plenty of charcoal, as you can see. And then I know that I had more cobblestone, yes. And we'll do 60 because it does 10 per charcoal in this furnace. And we'll just go ahead and grab that out anyways. I also used up the ice essence to make ice because I needed the ability to make water. And we still have eight left if we need it. I don't think we will. I don't think I, I really need to do too many more like fully permanent water things on the fly since I made an infinite water source here. It's just underneath like this. This is an actual water source. Even though it's at the bottom of that waterfall, this is an actual water source, even though it's at the bottom of that waterfall. And so the space in between generates infinite water. So if I just aim for that cobblestone slab there, I can grab out water 100% of the time. And have a full bucket. I think I might actually want smooth stone though. Smooth stone. I think I like, because uh, this kind of looks like, you know, marble-ish type tiles almost. So I think that's what I'd like to put as the, uh, the, f the one level down floor of this. Because it'll go with the cobblestone and also it's pale, so it'll go with the, the wood. I like it. I think this is a good plan. We just need to wait for this to smelt up. And then we will figure out how these strainers work and we will be well on our way to solving everything. What's next in the pack, by the way? What is actually like the next quest? To make a hopping bonsai pot. A hopping bonsai pot, which requires clay, which is why we have to do this quest first. So, okay, we can't move forward there. I also need to build a farm, like a place where an actual farm will go, like out here somewhere. Cause I want, I really want to be like moving this direction is farms and then you know south that's where mob stuff will go and then um east uh sorry west west is is machines this is processing this is industrial and then north is not a thing yet we'll decide on that later when we get to it if i need a fourth district if you will and put that fertilizer up before I accidentally use a lot of it. I should also put up these fluffy puff seeds. I will have them when I need them. And then also these waystones. I should have 
should have put this stripped iron log in there instead of just making a whole bunch of new ones. But oh well. It's not like I'm struggling for the ironwood logs. I shouldn't act like they're a rare resource because they're not. Let's, uh... I'm thinking about light stuff. Torches is just what I got now. Okay. And then do that again so I've got the smooth stone. Yeah, let's take a couple of them. I think this is going to be good. This is going to be the way that I wanted to go. So let's... Mm hmm. Good. I'm glad I can reach that from down here. I really thought I'd be able to, but it's nice to know that I was correct. So let's put these down and figure out. Yeah. Yep. That's correct. I feel it immediately because it's got the solid gray border. So it goes with the cobblestone. I don't know if this will stay, but it goes with it for now. And then the paler color inside is reminiscent of both this and then also this, especially if you were to look at it in contrast to this, this one here. See, this is like the wooden version of that block. Yeah, I like it. We're making wise decisions here. So let's take what we got so far. Just start kind of roughing it out. Will 60 actually be enough? Oh no. I somehow placed that underneath and that's not what I wanted to do at all. And that's, that's gone, I'll never get that back. Never. And it's so far away, I can't even pick it. Pick exit from here. No. Goodbye, my friend. Say hello to the void for me. Anyways, so I like this. So then we can have an infinite water source in here, which will surround the uh, strainer. And then if we need to, we still have space below this where we could build a small platform within which we could catch the uh, drops. If we can hop her out of them, we could hop her out of them and then back over here into some chests. And then we'd have chests here available for all of the stuff that we can get from the strainers. That's my plan. That's what I'm thinking. So ostensibly then the... Huh? And then... Where are the strainer bases? Strainer bases. Ha. And then we bust that out. And then we've got water. It's so funny that it just stops there. Like, I get that it's because we're at, like, a build limit thing. It's so funny to me that it just stops. It's just like, no, here's fine. I need not go any further. This is where water ends naturally. More water, more smooth stone. And I don't think, I don't, I don't think I can create, can I do infinite there like that? No, cause it's suspended in midair, of course not. But I really don't want to provide, I don't want to provide a solid floor for this unless I have to, is the thing. So I'm really gonna have to come over here and just keep on getting individual buckets. Which is unfortunate. Also, I'm really curious. Can I click this? So this shows me, and it has no strainer currently. So I'll put this in there. And then it'll have a strainer. And then it needs bait, it needs bait pot. Status water missing. Because I need water on this level too, I think, right? The strainer itself needs to be surrounded by water. It does this. So this says, generates items while in water, requires a strainer and water on top. Maybe this level doesn't actually need the water. Maybe it's only the level here. I think that might be the case. Let us check. Because this level I was very comfortable putting a floor in for, obviously. So if I can do infinite water stuff up here, that would just be better. So let's grab that. Do that. Grab that. Do that. Grab that. Huh? Is 
So yeah, this is all solid water, right? It looks like it's all solid water, even though there's like definitely a point on there that is not as high as the other points. Oh, it's because there's like, there's like one, I think there's like one infinite water source in here somewhere still. No? Yep, yeah, there, okay. Okay. So then if we click this, it says water missing still. Does it have to have water above it? Water missing. But it should then also have water below because the water should be flowing unless the water around it also has to be source box. Or maybe does it have to be sitting inside? Like it has to be staying on top of water also? But I wouldn't think so because you'd be like ostensibly you'd be building these on a, like a shore or something. Hmm. Let's pull out more water. And then can we just click on the strainer base? What happens if I do that? Like I'm going to put water right up against it. And then see what it says. Okay, now it says it's got water. It's at 62%. Okay, it's it's processing. This is going. Status no problems detected. So it needed to have water right next to it. So then it's going to pop it out into its inventory. And this has 118 uses left. So it, it used one use and then did nothing, but then it generated two clay. So then the question becomes, how do we get the stuff out of there automatically? Can we get the stuff out of there automatically? I'd really like it if we could. Let's chop down this ironwood tree. Plant another one in there because we forgot. And then let's go back and take a look at this. Let's make a hopper. Just a good old fashioned basic no frills, no nonsense hopper. And see if we can get this underneath there. Give me a very disposable floor of iron planks. These are very cheap. I can make a lot of these. I don't even remark on the fact that I was like absolutely adamant that I wasn't going to build out of thing to this and now I did. Uh, huh. It is. It is absolutely taking the drops from there. Okay. So we can definitely hop out the bottom and we can just funnel it into chest, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Thank you. I'm so happy that that's going to work. So then let's figure out where would be the best place for that. I'm going to do uh, that, that, and that, and that, that, and that, because that's going to be the upon which we build the stairs, because these blocks are where the staircases would be. So I need, I need some way to move stuff. Do we have just like transfer pipes? We have got refined pipes. Tier one, basic fluid pipe. Basic energy pipe. Do you have like a basic item pipe? Like let's look at all of refined pipes. Basic item pipe, iron, glass, glass. We still need glass. Glass is still the thing that we need. Okay. Give me the sand. Fortunately, we can just come down here and look at it. So this is what we need to do, but in, in all four platforms, because that's like actually the goal is to do that right there. And then I can come along and I can be like, oh, it doesn't have a strainer base. Let's put one on there. So then let's smooth 
Where's my smooth? There it is. Smooth cobblestone. And then let's hop. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough though. I'm gonna need more of this. Very fine. Yep, I'm off by like four, I think. Which would be the ones that I just didn't process a second ago, I guess. But so let's make ten more. And quick coffee break. Mm. I do love my coffee. So I wonder if these... Do these play into refined storage at all? Because I mean, like, it's a separate mod for sure. But I wonder if this goes into that. Like, if this is, like, an extension of that. So, gold, tier 2, that's just more speed. Then, diamonds and quartz gets us tier 3. And then, slime is basic fluid. So, advanced, advanced. Wasn't there, like, a super high level, though, a second ago? Oh, if I could type. Transfer. So, there is ultimate... Energy pipe. That's ref that is refined pipes. Why is that at refined? Ah, there's only ultimate. Okay, so it's just energy, ultimate fluid. There's only there's only three tiers for items. So I guess they think items don't need to move very fast. Oh well, no, they probably have the same speed. Just the it's the amount of fluid they're able to transfer. Because like this is transferring more. This is transferring more energy. Okay. All right, I can kind of see the logic, I guess. Oh, right. I was waiting on the stone. That's actually what I was doing. And then one more. Quick crafts. And let's see. Okay, so I took, I took five instead of four, but I really think I only need four. The reason I need the fifth one is because I need to bridge the gap. So I'm gonna trust my instinct. Boop, boop. Let's see if it pays off. Boop. Hmm, 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 hmm. Nope, it didn't. I was wrong. I was wrong, I need three more. I can't count quickly. That's not a thing that I do. There we go, though. And that's got us the three platforms the way that I wanted them to be. The three other platforms the way that I wanted them to be. I really want this to not flow. I'm going to have to do something about that. I really am. I think we're going to have to... We're going to have to see if I can close off water on this and see if that's okay. Which means I'm gonna need more stone. Let's go start some more smelting and then I'll figure this out. How much do I have? Oh, none. Well, shucks. I guess I'm gonna have to uh, empty out a hand and then rapidly click here. I really should just set up the cobblestone generator. I don't know why I'm putting that off like I couldn't just use a chest full of cobble at all times. Okay. Here we 
go. Get that smelting. And uh, take take that out. I don't want that there. Hmm. Bonus emerald. <laughs> I don't know the spawning habits of that thing. I don't know why that spawned, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. <sighs> ah, stone. Stone, 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 stone. And it replanted that. Still smelting, are you? Sir, you're a disgrace. The queen shall hear of this. Be better. So for now, I guess we'll just use these planks, because I really want to see if this is a thing. Can I enclose this away from all of the water and it still produce? I can. So only the strainer has to be in water. And it can be still water, because this is, like, non-moving water, I mean. Because this is still producing. Even though it is completely sealed off from everything. Okay. And then we can also go swimming. We've made a pool for ourselves. We... It's it's a wading pool. It's It's not a big pool, guys. It's not a big pool. I don't have resources for a big pool, okay? But that's good. I could actually... Hmm. Now I'm thinking thoughts. Let's try a pattern real quick before we... Before we do a whole bunch of stuff with the stone. Um, how did I get... How did I get that block below it a second ago? I really want to know how I did that. Sometimes I do that. Like, I think it's either a mod or maybe a recent change to the game that just lets you play stuff underneath. Ah, like that. Okay. And that, and that. So that's actually what I'm interested in. How do we feel about... What if we checkerboarded this, in a way? So we'd be like... Hmm. 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 And then there'd be the base in the center. Do you think that pattern's too, like, weird and strong? And then we can do smooth, smooth stone in between. I don't think so. I think it breaks up the pattern. Oh, no. Oh, I have no idea where we're coming down now. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yep. Okay, so vein mine is on all the time. Which it shouldn't be. But I guess it is. I should have aimed for this water. That would have been a better, a better, easier thing to hit. Man. Hmm. Options. Maybe, is this a config that I can change? I wonder if this is a config I can change from in here. Where is mods? Some of them you can change from inside, and some of them you can't. Or, 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 or. I went past it at some point. Open back up and check. Colossal chest. Hmm, colossal chest is in the pack. That's interesting. I'm now suddenly changing everything I'm going to do. 
Waystones, Everlasting Abilities, or Excavation. Here we go. Uh, common. Because Client wouldn't be the change that's sitting here. <sighs> Allow Hand. Yeah, everything's set up the way that I normally have it set up. Game Stage. Undo. I can undo. Okay. I have Allow Shapes turned off because I want that to be off. Auto Pickups turned on. Yes. So maybe it is Client. Client. Uh, keybind. It's set to Keybind. And it says you must hold. Allows players to cancel excavation by releasing the keys. Use side hit. Use the side of the block hit to determine shape mining direction. Well, I don't. I don't. I'm not doing shape, so that doesn't matter. Maybe that's what just messed me up there, because I wasn't holding down the key, and I do have a key. Disabled keybind sneak always. So yeah, only when I'm only when I'm doing that. And I do have it set to a key that I was not pressing, right? Options, controls. Excavate. Yeah, it's set to equal, which is what I always use. Why is there a second excavate? Oh, that's MA and chance? What? No. No, you're gonna be something that I never use, and then you're gonna be equal, because that's what I want you to be. Okay. But still, though, it excavated all that without me... Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do you think of that pattern, though, right? That I was doing? I still think it's good. I'm still gonna do it. Let me see if I can... Can I do... Yes, I can. Very fine. And then can I... No, that took out the one that I didn't want it to take out. Well, it's just going to be ugly underneath for now, I guess. Because I don't know what's causing that to happen. And I'm going to have to investigate. And I don't want to take up time on the stream with that. What? A chicken? Chicken. Many animals. Hello. You know what, cow? You know what? I need your leather. Give me your leather. Why am I not hitting you? Oh. Why are you invulnerable to being hit? Whatever. All right. If I can't, if I can't hit you, then so be it. Ah, my axe is broken. All of a sudden, it makes sense. Although, again, I'm using more iron to repair it. Why am I still doing this? I mean, because I have infinite iron. It really doesn't matter, I guess. Oh, another one spawned. I was like, why aren't those leaves going away? Yes, give me all of the iron clocks. See, I'm telling you, like, have you guys been looking? Have you been paying attention to the mob farm on the mini-map there? I haven't seen a single thing here spawn the whole time that we've been here. Not a single thing. Because I'm looking. I'm looking at that mini-map. I'm trying to catch when things spawn. And I don't see very much. So I think I'm going to have to build something that's a little bit more passive. That requires me to do nothing at all. Oh, stone, stone. That's... I was actually leaving to get the stone and then got distracted by all the animals. So I still have to do this. I'm not even done with that part. I still can't have the stone. But we got some more wool. That's nice. I like having more wool. And I'm really trying to store blocks and stuff up here. That's actually what's going on in my mind. This is for blocks. This is for... Stuff that I kill and random quest drops and also the things that I started with a personal chest I wonder if fish will spawn in this. I don't think they will right this isn't enough for fish to spawn is it? Okay, so there, boop, 
Boop. That would be fully assembled pattern. I like it. I think this is a good way to be. And then we'll put the strainer bases right chong. And then put the water in. Very fine. So for now, I guess, just to like get ready, I could do that. And then just go ahead and put the strainer base in. Get those out of my inventory in any case. And then the luggage. Um, can I do this? No. That placed it up against the nearest logical surface. <laughs> I'm making it worse. As time goes on. And then we'll have to trade out. Like, yo, oh, this doesn't vein mine. Of course not. But if I if I do, I, if I do hold vein mine, it does go. There we go. And so now underneath, there should be no water at all. Which man, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about these. Can I can I just open hand them and it won't break everything? Okay, so I can do that at least. I just can't use my axe for some dumb reason. I wonder why the axe is just automatically assuming that it should destroy every block connected to it. Like why is it auto vein mining? I am bothered by this fact. But okay, we'll, we'll break all that out when we need to. Let's get up here. Let's do the thing. I think we'll do same stuff on same side this way. So this will be the other that. And then these two will be the, the ones for these. And then we'll just kind of put it forward. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds good to me. I hope it sounds good to you too. So let's, let's get to watering, I guess. Um, water. Water. Oh, it's there now. Okay, very fine. Uh, so that, and then that, and then that, that. And then that, and that finishes it out. Perfect. So let's grab this. Another one. And there we go. Pull. So then this is going to be building us up the resources as it works. Yes, mini clay. And then this is getting us bismuth, uranite... Your uraninite? It's uranium, but but night. Um redstone dust. Hey! Zinc nuggets. Okay. Okay. And then I just need to funnel them forward, basically. So ha has this one dropped me lots of sand yet? Hey, it's at least got it's at least got that many. There we go. Let us make the tin glass. Coffee, where we wait for that to smelt. Oh, hey, I kept this mutton for some reason. And this chicken and sinew. 
Aw, these aren't the pebbles you can throw. Well, I guess I'll throw them the old-fashioned way. I love that everything spirals into oblivion. And we got some essence, which also gave us a quest completion somewhere. Farming? Yes. Just needed one, and we got one prosperity seed base. So this allows us to make solium seeds, or um, we can make any other seed, basically. Air, bronze, coal, if we had the higher tier essences, which we don't. So, I mean, like, this is... This is not in the near future. We need like a beacon to do this, which is a change. I don't think that that requires a beacon normally, but I could be wrong. So that's a ways off. Right in here you go. Later. Alligator. Okay. And then... What was it for the, um, was it that? That only gets a six, though. We don't quite have enough glass yet. Um, I don't, I don't think I can. Can I build a one level colossal chest? I don't think I can do that. Hmm. Hmm. Do they tell you... I want to say that I read in one of the updates that the Colossal Chest was limited. Like there was something that said it could only be of a certain size. Colossal Chests. Although that's client. I think I need common? I don't know. Server? Common? General, machine, client, server. No, they're all blank. Well, you know what? I'm not somebody to be defeated easily. I'll open up the folder and I'll look in there at the config directly. Colt, 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 Lossal, Chet, Chet, Chests. I think, I think common is what I'm going to need. So, version checker, maximum buffer size, recipe loader, create full creative mode, no, of course not, metal variants, always show interface, eject items on destroy, false. Um, if the chest should be visually open when someone uses it, the maximum size of Colossal's chest can have is three. So that means that a three by three is like the biggest it can be? Well, then what's the point? That's not a Colossal chest. Oh, my lord. That was a heck of a sound. Still looking, still not seeing anything. All right, well, while I'm trying to pierce, pierce, piece, piece all my thoughts together on that, let's grab out this, the clay. And we will get ourselves some botany things going. Or some bonsai things going. While I'm thinking. What? There's a bonsai pot singularity. 
What's it used for? Ah, that's how you get the transmutation table. Okay. I see where you're going there. So yeah, these take bricks, which is why I just smelted all of those. And then otherwise they take hoppers. So let's get... Because that's the thing. I'm really, I really just need to turn this into my farm and then get the tree farms going as like a, uh, a bonsai thing. Because that's, that's the best way to do trees, like hands down. If we look at the uses here, we can see that there's a bonsai tree for it. Ah, you know, it does only produce nuggets. So there is something to be said for having like an actual tree tree. Can I smelt the leaves down into something? Is that what I can... What? Wait a minute. Ah, example fletching. Okay, I was like, can I produce feathers with leaves all of a sudden? No. Biomass. So this is just stuff... This is stuff that uses any leaves. This isn't special. Or unique to that leaf. Although we can make... Did we already know this? I think we already knew that. Yeah, we did that last time. Okay. Durr. Durr. But it's all automatic, so it doesn't matter that, like, we can only get nuggets with it because it's just, it's fully automated and we don't have to do anything for it. We'll produce the nuggets. Oh, oh, did I see a red? Oh, I think I saw a red mark, but then it went away. No, oh, there it is. No, that wasn't, that wasn't. Well, we'll kill this bat. And this bat. How dare they. Yeah. That's... That is an automatable thing that we need to do. Absolutely. But okay, so we got resource... Oh. So, can I really sneak? Is that what I did earlier and it worked? Maybe... Maybe they need dark? See, but that one saw me. But the other one didn't. That's so weird. But we did manage to get 10 redstone and a heart of diamond. Which can be used to make a pig harangue. So that's fun. A pick that's a boomerang. And we made some easy redstone. Very easy. Very fine. Oh wow, look at all that stuff. We got some arcane crystal dust, zinc, uranium, different uranium, silver, lead, gold, nickel. Ah, gold, this is how you get gold. And then you can get the golden berries. All right. Pack creator, I thank you for this bounty that you have given me. This is how it's done, right? This is what we saw earlier. Gold and berries. And then if we, uh... I don't know, can we just... Can we just... Can we just? We can just. But this... This does not. Bedrock or golden honeycomb blocks is the only thing. Man, I got trolled. I got trolled by the pack creator. <laughs> the pack creator was like, yeah, dude, just do this. It'll be easy. <laughs> I don't have bedrock or a golden honeycomb block to put inside this botany pot. Can I make bedrock? How do I do that? Craftable bedrock essence from mystical agriculture. Or just put together a whole bunch of end portal frames and crystallized obsidian, dude. That's easy. That's super easy. I got trolled by the pack creator. Man. Well, later. That'll be for later. We'll just put that just put that right in there. And we'll come back to it. <laughs> Alley Crafts coming in with the, the trolls on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like 
all the gold that I've got so far. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, like, making these meshes is just grass. It's just grass and iron. It, it's so easy. I'm really not worried about it. And these have a lot more uses. The uh, solid survivalist ones. These don't have that many uses. It's only like 120. Can I enchant these? Is that a thing? I wonder if this is true and that actually works though. Fortune, one to three. Luck of the sea. I mean, that actually makes sense. It doesn't make sense that both fortune and luck of the sea could go on it. But that luck of the sea would make sense for being on there. It's literally pulling stuff out of the water. But, we can make these now. So let's get... That's gonna be iron. And then... What else do I even have, sapling-wise? I should have at least oak, right? Yeah, I got oak. Iron. And that's about it. Can you... Ah, I can hopper botany... I can botany pot normal seeds. I just have to put dirt in there. So that's nice. So I can get a wheat farm going if I wanted to. Can I, how do I get, how apple? Can apple be berries with an alchemical thing for, yeah, it only requires me to dip into Batania and then I can have infinite apples via berries. Or I could just get nature essence. Or I could just set up an actual oak farm. It's just these, in the botany, they do not. Like, you would think that maybe they would drop apples, but they do not. But yeah, so oak... And... And the iron, I guess that's the only two that I need, really. So just the two, for now. And then we need the Hopperino. If I could grab the right thing. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Two Hopping Bonsai Pots. And then you know what? We'll just go ahead, because I know me. We'll do this. And then we'll do this and this. Make ourselves two iron chests. And then we can put these out here. And this will be a for now thing. Because like I said, we're probably going to turn... We're going to go further out and do farms here. But for now, we'll just do this. Because this is easy and requires no thought, basically. And then I should have some dirt left, right? Yep. You and you, and then you grow me oak, and you grow me iron. And they grow pretty quick in here. I mean, they only have a chance to drop their respective things. Um, which, I mean, technically any tree only has a chance to drop their respective things, but I mean, like, that's pretty good. That's pretty fast growth rate. And once the chest gets full, you can really set what grows. Because, like, what I could do is, like, ha, ha, ha. And then those rows are all dedicated to the wood. But I would not need that many wood, so I'd honestly be doing that with the iron nuggets. I'd be like, oh, yeah, just nothing but iron nuggets. Just fill this chest with iron nuggets. And the same thing with this. I could be like, I only want one row of leaves. So, like, if that be the case, then I'm just going to, huh? And I, you know, just no sticks. Sticks can't grow eventually. Is how that'll go. So let's put the oak logs in there, along with the sapli and the leaves. So I want one row of leaves. Very fine. Uh, just the one thing of sticks, just to be convenient, I guess. And then sapli. And then the oak logs themselves.
And that'll probably be, that'll be good. I think though, I mean, I really only need, I don't need saplings for anything, right? Like what are these even used for outside of, oh, I guess it does make me all of the saplings from Ferris tree, but I mean, I think any sapling can sub in for that. I don't think I need specifically oak saplings for anything. So Ferristry, this is this is what I use to generate all of my resources in this pack. That makes sense since that was the first thing that you get. Block of redstone gets us a redstone sapling. I should see which of these that I can make. What have I got so far sitting over there? Blocks of coal. Can I, does it have to be blocks of coal? It has to be actual coal, not charcoal. Yeah, see, you can put any sapling in there, so it doesn't matter that they're oak saplings. So yeah, actually, uh, two rows of leaves. One thing of that, one thing of that, and then logs, logage. That'll be how that goes for me. And then I will just... Um, Okay, as far as this tree goes, or this goes, uh, yeah, mostly, mostly the nugs. Mostly the nugs is where we're going. Um, I think I will keep two rows of the wood since I am planning on using some of it. And then it does, does it, it do generate leaves, right? Does it, does it even leave, bro? It does. Okay, good. So I just haven't generated any yet. That's fine. So same thing, one thing of sticks, one thing of sap lie, the rest iron nugs, and the wood. And then some leaves here. I think only one row of leaves though. And then two rows. Did I say two or did I say one? I think I only said one. Mucho nugs, a little bit of leaves. I think for the iron tree, that's going to be best. So I'm going to pull these up. Because who needs them, am I right? And we'll just put them there. Do I have any extra? I do have some extra. And then the planks and the logs. Okay. But I've got the one row of logs that I need. So now I'm just going to put those in there just so they're in there. And then that too, because I don't want to just hold on to a lot of them. Fill up the sap lie and then make it rain. Literally tossing iron, basically. So cool. This will be tree farm central and also farming central. Although... Okay, so the fluffy puff seeds, that was like actually a thing. That gets the string a lot easier. Let me look at that real quick. How do... Can I botany these? I can botany these. And it will get me the fluffy puff. Which I think is the thing that you get from actually farming it. Like if you were to grow one and then do that, you would get a fluffy puff. And it's got a... Coarse dirt, prudentium, inferium, scorched. I want to see that I can just put this on normal dirt. Dirt. Okay, good. Now, normally... Yeah, chance 75%. But those... Those botany, they take more. Oh, botany. I know, I promise you, I can spell... Yeah, these take the flower pots and then also like full blocks of terracotta is what they take to produce, which is a whole thing of coal, obviously. So if I'm gonna make a lot of those, then I need a lot of, oh, that is out. That has no more strainer base. I needs me the more. Tell me you have at least three more, very fine. This will get me 10 blocks of that, so that'll get me a couple more botanies. 
The flower pot is just the bricks. We're making some good progress here though. Even if we're not really making it directly into the quests and stuff, we are doing things that are very worthwhile. So let me claim that. And then the next is to actually make the hopper botany pots and that gets us eight farmland, which is cool. And then after that, it looks like, then I make an iron chest, then I make a backpack, then I make, is that the basic item thing? And then a jetpack, and then nether stuff. So I'm actually right on, right on pace with the actual quest here. Iron. The next would be an iron chest and an iron barrel, and then it gives an iron to gold upgrade, which is cool, but I need more iron. I do not have enough. I do not have enough. I only have nine iron, and to make one iron chest is eight, and I think it's the same for the iron barrel. Oh no, the iron barrel is only four. Unless you've made a copper barrel. But still, I need... I would need a total of 12. And I've only got 9. And I don't have enough nugs. I'm still growing my nug repository. Out to appropriate lengths. So maybe I should make another one of those gigantic ones. And then just chop the whole thing down. Although I couldn't grow that down here, if I remember correctly. I had to grow that like up high for some reason. But I could take like four dirt, go up to the very top, and then try it. Give me, give me four. Not five, four. Perf. Hey, we got a leaf. Nice. And then, um, you know, I could make this a fast travel thing. If I just didn't, like, if I just didn't, then I could be like, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Red dot. Red dot. Monster. 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 <laughs> I am a vicious hunter. You can see how deadly that was. Like, my life was in danger. Okay? Yeah. But yeah, if we do this, then it's like a fast travel. Back to the top, right? So I do this. I fall out of the world. But I fall in a straight line, you see. I think. I should. I have defeated gravity. So let us... Uh, dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. And then... Sack lie. If I thought about it, I would have brought that fertilizer up. But I didn't. So you know what? We tap shift and coffee break. Oh, it worked. I wasn't even looking. Okay. Eh. Of 
course, the real problem with doing it up here um, is that number one, like a bunch of stuff gets lost and flung over the edge, right? But it does mean that I only get I get this puzzle, and then let me let me check something here. Did that? No, that just gave me dirt. Okay, I thought I saw. I thought that the there was another note on my previous video on YouTube that said that you could collect the ground stuff by using shears, but I guess not. Maybe it was just grass. Because the specifically the pack creator said grass. Oh well. So what did that get us? 12? I mean that did get us to the 12 that we need. But I need a larger platform for catching stuff like that. Hmm. What? Is that a horse? Have I generated a horse? Oh, also some of the stuff fell down here, I guess. I generated a horse, guys. And a chick. A little chick chick. Chick chick -on. Okay, hold on. Huh? No! Creeper head. And a heart of diamond. Mucho sadness. But yeah, I generated a horse! Isn't that crazy? Ha <laughs> ha! Wanna do something incredibly dangerous? Try to break it while right next to the edge. Come on, be my friend. Be my friend. I have a ton of uses for a horse in a skyblock map. Are you, are you Tokyo drifting here? What are you doing? You're mine. I There's literally no one else. There's nowhere for you to go. Best friends forever. Yeah. That's my horse. Yeah, yeah. For sure, Nightly Elf. I'm I'm a hundred percent in it. Like this is a good pack. I'm I'm pleased with it. Okay. I thought I just dove off the edge. I was like, horse. We just became friends. But yeah, we made some pretty good advancements tonight. We figured some stuff out. I figured out how the uh, the strainers work. Like you got to do this. So it's not the strainer block itself. It's the, the, like the strainer, which I mean it makes sense theoretically. But it, if you look at the block, it said like it had to be in water, and it doesn't. It's just the upper part that has to be in water. So you can do cool stuff like this. Although I have to clean up the bottom. Don't look at it. It's ugly. So this is a blue dot because it's a friend now. This isn't just a passive mod. This is this is actually on my side now. So now its dot is blue on my map. Because it's an animal that I own. So like if a wolf spawned and I tamed it with bones, then it would also be blue. Very fine. So what was next? Ah, uh, yeah, the iron, iron cheryl, iron best, iron cheryl, iron best. That's literally what I said. Is actually what I said. Okay. So anyways, let's make an iron cheryl, huh? And then right after that, we'll make an iron best. So that, and then that. That's an iron best right there. Then we'll make, we'll make an iron chair roll. I actually, I don't think I've ever made an actual iron, or a normal barrel even. Can I do it with these? Will this be okay? I wonder. Uh, that's planks, so I need more planks. That's what I meant to do. 
barrel. There we go, an iron cheryl. Claim the upgrades, and then very quickly store them. We will come back to that. Okay. So then we make a backpack. And then we get another backpack for making a backpack. So this is the one that we get, which requires all of that. And this is the one we have to make. This is the mod that I like to use. This is the one that I normally do. So we need leather, string, and wool. Well, let's also, just while we're thinking about it here, let us get back that iron vest and plop it down here. Then atop it, we will put one of these hopper bonsai pots, put in a piece of dirt, and then fluffy puff seed. There we go. And they can start very slowly growing me fluffy puffs. So I'll have the, uh, what is it? String, I'll have the regular source of string. But for now, we'll have to do it the other way where we fertilizer, the grass, where is the fertilizer? There's the fertilizer. And then pull out our handy dandy old shears. give us enough string to do the bag right because uh, we do have a couple of pieces of wool just barely but we do have enough and then we'll need leather which I have collected see random stuff keeps spawning and I keep on doing exactly what you think I'm doing with it and so I get leather Okay, backpack. And then we'll claim the other backpack. So let's see the difference here. Okay, so this is this is the, the small backpack of the mod that I'm used to. Now the big backpack is like six rows and like nine, it's like you're carrying around a double chest basically like these backpacks, which upgrade from the small ones to the medium and then from the medium to the large, um, which is just the same recipe repeated. So, okay, so then there's this one. So let's see. So that definitely starts off bigger and it progresses with iron and copper and everything else. Okay. And becomes obsidian when it's top tier. So I guess that that gets like pretty, it get, probably gets pretty big. So we'll put them away for now because I don't I don't super duper need the extra space just yet. I'm getting there, but I don't need it yet. I'm gonna put up this farmland that is just hanging around. Put the dirt back up, those, the smooth stone, the cobblestone, iron stuff. I like clearing my inventory. Leave me alone. I need more sand. Has more sand happened? Oh, horse, you're playing a dangerous game here. More sand has happened. Yes. Make. We'll put that away for now too. But this will get us 
the food source that I was actually intending to make earlier. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, do this right here, right? That gets you some glass panes, right? And then glass panes, do that. And you get 15 glasses. Come over here to this thing that you get at the beginning, grab yourself out 15 of these berries to go with this. Bam. 15 sweet berry juice. Look at that hunger and saturation. And that was so easy. That was so, so, so easy. I wonder if it gives you back the glass too. That'd be cool. If we only ever had to make 64 glasses, then we could just keep filling it with berries. And we have not eaten it yet, so we need to know what it tastes like. Because I do think that we have spice of life in here. At least the carrot edition. I haven't eaten one of these yet either, actually. Aha, fluffy puffs. And then we can turn these into all kinds of things, but most notably, um, phantom membrane, really? Fluffy puff seeds, they make strength. That's what we were actually after them for. But feathers too, hmm, interesting. And you can make wool out of them straight wise, which you could do anyways, because you can make string out of them. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, yes, majestic. Absolutely phenomenal. I hope that you'll stay around and not just immediately tumble off the edge and die. Okay, so there we go. We've got it lined out. There we go. So now this chest is set. So now when stuff grows, if it would spawn something, then it will spawn one of the things that there is an empty slot for. Uh, and same thing here. So we've got those two set. That's pretty much exactly how we want them. We want the one row of leaves, because I don't think those are very pretty. I can't imagine me using these for decorating. Um, but I want to. I don't want to take the chance that I don't. Um, the saplings, in case we need them again. Sticks. Uh, plenty of the iron nuggets that can grow. And then one row of the planks, since I do actually think that they have some decent, decent uses and looks to them. Horse... You, you do like living dangerously, don't you? I mean, what else is there for you to do? <laughs> Am I right? So let's come down here. Bats also are giving me leather. So I come down here and I hunt. I look for bats to see if they are available for leather harvest. And running back and forth also helps my saturation go down so I can get this food eight. And you can see what I'm talking about. Running, jumping, climbing trees. Action. Mmm. And I do need to make another strainer base for this. So let's get on that. I'll make two more strainer bases. Why not fence the horse in? Well, that's simple. Um, it's a very easy question for me to answer. Um, I have no space. There's nothing for me to fence it in on. I haven't made an animal pin yet. I mean, honestly, do I really care if the horse tumbles off the edge and dies? I haven't even named it yet. It's not even a real thing yet. Strainer, strainer, yes. Yes, four string and sticks. That's all this takes, just four string and sticks. So this will get me five string. So then I'll need a little bit of the grass if I have any of that left, which I do not. But I already have one string. So what am I down? I'm down like a little bit of string here. I need a total of eight, so I'm down two. So there's one, so I'm down one. So one more fertilizer. that <laughs> that's why chickens that to be eight don't get names I mean it makes sense that that would be a thing that you did 
Okay, so that gives us plenty of string. <laughs> Just watching the horse commit suicide, no big deal. Um, this, two of those, turn into two of those, and then we'll go put these back over here. Yep, and yep. And then after it gets me a good bit of glass, we'll be able to make some of those pipes and then we'll transfer stuff over here and then we'll have it on our central platform. Uh, maybe north will be storage. That would kind of be a good place for it, honestly. Because um, north would be just like uh, my personal base, if you will. Like maybe I'll build a little house that direction. And that'll also be where the storage is. That sounds good. And then I can just have everything feed in that direction. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's see, what's next on the agenda? Um, simple logistics pipe system. So I need to make this pipes and this pipe wrench. Which there's, I, I'd have to figure out. Okay, so just type in pipe. Pipe, 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 pipe. And then this one, pretty pipes. Only one glass and two iron bars gets me 32 of these. That's way better. So pretty pipes. Let's go to that whole mod at pretty pipe. Blank module, pipe frame, low extraction module, medium extraction module. High tiers prevent oversending. High extraction module. Which that's nice that they go up in tier. So the low one is that, and then the medium one is that, and it required the lower one, and then there's that. Okay. Well, okay, so I'm gonna make some of these pipes, and I'm gonna fool around with it because this is another pipes that I've never seen before. But I think this is where we're gonna end the stream. I've gotta wait for some more of this stuff to grow here. Um, and also the horse to commit suicide slowly via water elevator. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, if you did, you know, feel free to uh, go to YouTube, like the video when it comes out tomorrow. Um, uh, just at the end here, I do want to discuss that just a little bit. So recently, um, I think it was just like a month ago, actually, so maybe not super recently. Um, the program that I use, uh, Streamlabs OBS, uh, introduced a module that lets you stream to multiple platforms at the same time. So, um, leave me your comments. Let me know, should I stream Twitch and YouTube, Twitch and Facebook, YouTube and Facebook? What do you think? Where would you watch me the most at? What would be most convenient for you guys? Please leave a comment on the YouTube video tomorrow. So that way I know what you want to see. Or today, if you're seeing it today. Leave a comment on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Facebook, and also here on Twitch, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you, and good night.